Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you didn't know, now you know. And today we're doing koi fish nails. I'm sure you saw that in the title, but we are going to paint these and put on little koi fish charms and it's all gonna be nail polish, not a stitch of gel. So stay tuned. All right, step one. We are going to need a sticky base coat. All right, and we'll give that a moment to dry, and then I'll be right back. Next, we're gonna go in with a liquid latex. Those cuticle stickers that it guides, they are frustrating, so I'm just gonna use this. So that's what one coat looks like. I do like to do two coats, but I also do not like to stick every finger, so I'm gonna do this one, this one, and the thumb, since those are gonna match, and then we'll do these two last. That way we're less likely to have all of our fingers sticking together. All right, so that's one coat. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna do a second coat and I'll come back. All right, so we've got two layers on here. Now I'm gonna show you what we're about to do. We're gonna take this silicone palette and we're gonna take some black stamping polish, white stamping polish, and orange stamping polish. And then we're just gonna kind of put it on here in a bit of like a modeled pattern. It does not have to be anything specific. So that's pretty good, right? And then we're gonna take this here stamper and we're just gonna boop. And we have some, yeah, okay. And then we're gonna take this and see if we can't roll some of that off onto here. Yeah? It's okay that it is not perfect. We're gonna do some more over here. And then, let's get some on the thumb. Nice. Now the way that we're gonna clean this off is we're gonna take a lint roller and just roll it right on up. That is the easiest way to clean a stamper. Highly recommend. Now, when this dries, I'll be able to peel it off. So I'm gonna set that to the side. And while we're waiting for this to dry, we're gonna go in and latex these two fingers. I'll be right back. Similarly to what we did before, we're gonna do it with this white and this blue for these two fingers. Let's just put some of this on here. We do want more blue. Then we do white though. Ooh, I just slung some. I think a lot is good. Let's boop. Spread that out a little bit. Yeah, that's better. All right, and then we'll get that on there. Yeah, my stamper just collapsed. There we go. I think that's pretty good. What do you think? All right, and then we'll clean it up again with the lint roller, perfecto. And this one needs to dry too, so sitting it to the side. All right, now I'm gonna go in with another layer of sticky base coat on these orange ones. Okay, and then we'll give that a moment to dry. All right, now we are going to take this Maniology stamping plate. It's M093, this is the B one, but we're gonna borrow this honeycomb pattern and we're actually gonna use this like pearly white in the shade Cloudy B511. This is from a recent monthly box. Let's just put some of that on there. Do our little scrapey scrape. And then we're gonna use this ice cube stamper to pick it up. Roll it in the opposite direction gently. We got a really good transfer. And then what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna take it and we're gonna stamp this over our colored bits like that. So we're basically borrowing it to make it into fish scales. And same thing, clean it off with a lint roller. Now you are gonna need to clean your stamping plate between each use. If you try to go over that again, it's not gonna work because it's already full of polish. <sighs> make sure it is completely dry though before you go back in with your next stamp. This really is just high quality product. And I do have codes and a link below for Maniology if you want to get some of their products and do some nail stamping yourself. Maybe you can even try this. 
All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go in with this Orly Polish Shield and we're gonna seal in these two middle nails because we want those to start to harden. All right, and then we're going to have to use a smudge-free top coat on these other ones before we seal those in so that we don't ruin our design. Highly recommend to use a smudge-free top coat if you do nail art with nail polish because it will melt under regular top coat ruining all your hard work and no one wants that. All right, and then we're gonna give that some time to dry as well. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this sharp cleanup brush, we're gonna dip it in a little acetone, and we're gonna go around the edges of these and just break it loose because we're gonna peel up this latex here in a second and if this polish is still connected, it's not gonna to wanna to let go. And so we just want to melt that apart a little bit. Don't do too much because you really do not want your brush clogged up with latex. Make sure you're dabbing your brush off on a paper towel before you're sticking it to your nail so you're not flooding it with acetone. All right, we've got our tweezer and we're gonna start peeling these up. I like to do two coats so that whenever you do go peel it, it's relatively thick and it's better at peeling. You see it can get a little bit resistant and we're gonna have clean up work to do anyway, but that's okay. Now we got these latex boogers. That one cleaned up a little better. Okay, now we're gonna take our cleanup brush again and clean up any excess polish. All right, and then I'll be back after I get the other ones cleaned up. All right, that's how we're looking. We're gonna take four rhinestones only. This is a rhinestone adhesive air drying top coat thing. It, it's not sticky when it's dry, so you can use it as a regular top coat too. Um, we're gonna put some of that on this palette that that paint has mostly dried on, and then we're gonna use this to adhere some fish. I am on the fence about whether I want to add any like rhinestones or pearls or anything. I haven't decided yet, but we will see. Let's do this. Let's. I always love to use this brush for scooping up my rhinestone adhesive. I don't know why it's my favorite for that. And it's a piece of crap, so I don't mind if I mess it up. Okay, we've got this little fish here. I'm gonna put it on there. Boy, he's pretty invisible. I mean, I can see it, but like, only kinda. He's on there pretty good, but I am gonna have to reinforce because there's a gap. And so I will fill that in with the rhinestone stuff after. Let's do the other one. Use it generously. All right, so let's put him on here. He is relatively see-through as well, but this one's a little bit more black. I picked a black one and a white one because I'm a huge fan of monochrome, but like, now they are nearly invisible. Look at those fish. <laughs> you can't see them. Ah, that's okay. So what we'll do is we'll let these dry because they are gonna have to dry before we start putting more on. Otherwise, it's just gonna pile wet on wet. So I'm gonna let that start working on drying while I decide if we're gonna stick anything else on these other nails. So I will be back with either dry fish or another step. All right, so I have decided I do not want to put anything additional on here. These are already textured enough and I feel like to put just odd bits on these other ones, it's just too much. And I don't want the too much gene to kick in. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep this. I like the way this pearly white has created this like glow. So that's pretty cool. Now I wish we could see these fish a little better. If I had put it on black, I feel like we could have. So that is a learning opportunity to try out next time. I am of course gonna get you some photos. I will insert those here. Let me know what you think of the nails. Let me know if you think that the black and orange and white nails 
look like koi pattern and if you have done koi nails how did you do yours if you have used these fish before these charms how did you use them and did you like that result definitely let me know thank you so much for watching my video especially if you did make it to the end if you did leave a fish emoji so i know and make sure you are subscribed so you're not missing my videos we do fun things over here we have giveaways we have hauls we have reviews and unboxing and we do nails it's a party. Be here. Make sure you're following my socials so that you are not missing the things that get posted over there but may not necessarily get posted over here. And definitely do leave a like on this video if you did like it. It helps the algorithm. And leave me a comment. If you don't know what to comment, just put a fish. Thank you again and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.